Hello and welcome to Comic Drake, where I talk about comic books and my name is Drake. Forget about the spaceman, the green people, or the talking tree, because when most people saw the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer, they were really confused about the talking raccoon with a gun. But did you know that Rocket Raccoon is actually a long-running Marvel Comics character and had a crazy and convoluted history even before he was with the Guardians in the first place? Well, today on Comic Drake, we're going to talk about just that and so much more. Stay tuned. The concept of Rocket Raccoon was first introduced in Marvel Preview number 7, all the way back in 1976. I say concept because this story takes place in an alternate future 10,000 years after the mainstream Marvel continuity. This original version of Rocket is a lot more... British than the fuzzy critter that we know today, and that's probably because he was named after the Beatles song, Rocky Raccoon. Six years later, Rocky made his official debut into the main Marvel comics when the Hulk crash-landed on Rocket's home planet, Half-World, a planet of mental patients and sentient robots. Rocket is one of the many animals modified to entertain and manage the loonies. Rocket serves as Half-World's chief of security, working alongside Wal Russ, Yes, another Beatles reference. After Hulk's visit, Rocket got a four-issue miniseries where he fights killer clowns and has to rescue his otter girlfriend Lilla, who is apparently the heiress of a large toy company that is the driving force of Half-World's economic system. Because everybody wants to marry Lilla for money, she's constantly being kidnapped back and forth. Rocket saves the day thanks to the help of a book that somehow made a diving helmet that cures insanity and also gives ultimate clarity. All of the mental patients were cured, Rocket leaves to explore the galaxy in a giant golden space robot, and all of this was heavily retconned because comics. Rocket's new history has this explanation where Rocket created a sort of living lock on Half-World to be used against one of its most dangerous inmates, setting it up to where every animal employee needed to be present in order to open the inner levels of the asylum. Rocket essentially threw away the key by leaving Half-World and having his own memories wiped so it would stay locked. When traveling the galaxy, Rocket popped up from time to time in all these Marvel comics, either in small roles or brief cameos. It's also during this bit of time that Rocket apparently lost his tail in a card game and is now wearing a parasite in its place. I guarantee the writers are going to forget that tidbit, but I still think it's funny. At some point, Rocket was thrown into jail and was later joined by the talking tree person, Groot. The two did not get along at first, I mean, Rocket couldn't even understand Groot's language of him just repeating I am Groot over and over and over again, but during a fight with some guards, Rocket actually learned that he could suddenly understand Groot, and the two became inseparable. At some point, they managed to break out of jail, and then pretty much instantly landed in a Kree prison. Pause. I'd like to mention that all of this backstory with Groot wasn't revealed until way after this initial point in Rocket's history, and in fact it's this storyline that really cemented Rocket and Groot as the tag team duo that we know today. What I'd also like to point out that this particular moment is when Rocket stopped being relegated to random appearances and cameos, and whenever he evolved into the lovable furball of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Thought that was interesting, it was a nice tidbit, unpause. Rocket was pulled out of prison by Peter Quill aka Star-Lord, to be part of a Kree special ops unit taking on an invading techno-organic race called the Phalanx. This group was essentially technology-free, and as such, they were essentially invisible to the Phalanx. This squad was absolutely essential in defeating the invasion, and most of them went on to Star-Lord's new venture, a group dedicated to taking on galactic-scale threats. Inspired by a name dropped by the time-traveling warrior Vance Astro, Rocket suggested that the group be dubbed the Guardians of the Galaxy. Rocket is hands down the most consistent member of the team, acting as chief strategist, pilot, heavy weapons expert, and even filling in as leader from time to time when Star-Lord is away. In fact, it was revealed later on that Star-Lord had his fellow guardian, Mantis, psychically manipulate everyone into joining up in the first place. But Rocket was one of the few team members to stick around after this bombshell was dropped, and he even recruited a new member, Bug, one of the old teammates from the Phalanx Invasion Squad. The Guardians officially disbanded after Star-Lord seemingly died when taking on the Mad Titan Thanos, and in the downtime, Rocket got a job in the mailroom of Timely Incorporated, a space corporation. 
After some shenanigans involving killer clowns, again, and rescuing Groot from being tortured, Rocket made his way back to Half-World, where he regained his memories of leaving the planet to keep the inmate that we mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video locked up. This too was later retconned, and Rocket again has no idea about his past. Rocket and Groot adventured together for a bit, including the time that they were on a space reality TV show led by a robot doppelganger of the villainous Mojo, and they helped reform the Guardians of the Galaxy when Star-Lord came back from his supposed death. Back with the Guardians, Rocket went back to his jack-of-all-trades role, somewhat in the background as the stories mainly focused on Star-Lord. However, there was this one time when his fellow Guardian, Agent Venom Symbiote, got loose for a bit, and, for a little while, Rocket was Venom. That's pretty cool. From time to time, however, Rocket got up to his own adventures, like when fellow Half-Worlder Blackjack O'Hare framed him for murder. And there was the time that Rocket was being hunted by his ex-girlfriends. Oh, and who could forget the time where he obtained the complete history of Half-World, which he used to regain his memories of his time there. Again. Now, sometime after the Guardians got back together, Star-Lord ended up becoming the president of the planet Spartax and started neglecting his friends. So, the Guardians kicked him out, and Quill's fiancée, Kitty Pride took over as Star-Lord. Despite this, Rocket acted as the team's self-proclaimed leader until Peter came back full-time to lead the group. Then, the Guardians came to Earth to help out in the second superhuman civil war, where their ship was destroyed and the team disbanded... again. So these days, Rocket is stranded on Earth, eating garbage, trying to get off the planet, fights Kraven the Hunter, and blows up the Statue of Liberty. That essentially brings you up to speed. Yeah, Rocket's history was way complicated and sometimes very stupid. But I think it's very interesting that this obscure part of the Marvel Universe has evolved into not only a big part of the mainstream Marvel Comics Universe, but also the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which, let's be honest, people care about a lot more than the comics. I mean, that's probably why you're watching this video in the first place. But if you like this video, then why not consider giving this a like, a comment, or even consider subscribing. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can always consider taking a look at my Patreon. You're able to support the show directly, and you can get some awesome perks in the process. You can see some of the names of our amazing patrons down there in the comments below. But before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to Bonnie Davies, Ashley Donson, Edgar Avalos, and Tim Willis for being amazing Patreon supporters. But if you like this video, then why not consider watching another one? Like, maybe our entire playlist on the Guardians of the Galaxy? I mean, if you're watching this, then you're probably going to like those. It's just science.